Nomsa Matrose started Bethel Pre-Primary School in 2009 after being a teacher for 17 years. When parents from her church asked for her assistance, she knew she had to utilize her vast teaching experience and tenderness for children to good use. We started this preschool 2009. Uh, I think let me say I started with five kids January, but by the end of January they were 30. I think that is wonderful and that was not easy because I was not known by the people but they decided to bring their kids to me and they trusted me. Matrose, whose heart beats for the children of her community, is saddened when she sees the small spaces that the children have to occupy as there is no space for individual tables or reading and activity corners to keep the young children truly engaged. You know, um, from Umama's um, speaking earlier on, she did mention that the, the, they have no financial support. All they have is the ability to educate the kids. And that in itself, for you to, to take your own home and turn it into a space of, for education for the community, and not just the community you live in. I mean, there's people from, kids from Motherwell, there's kids from Gwanda Gwenza going in there. It was just a great initiative, and she took it upon her hands because these children have no other forms of getting education. The school welcomes learners from various communities around Nelson Mandela Bay, including Zwide, Motherwell, Joslovo, Kwazakele and more. Matrose and her staff have made it their responsibility to take care of the needs of the learners in a holistic way. Uh, the cruise means a lot to the community. We help those who don't have... They are coming from different kinds of break backgrounds. I mean, then they come here, we even give them the, the uniform. They even come without lunch sometimes, then Gogo will cook for them and they will eat what Gogo cooked for them. While space inside is an issue, Matrose laments the lack of freedom the learners have to play and move freely as there is no playground, but also the fact that learners do not have enough space to do arts and crafts, learn to write or even have a table where they can sit and eat the meals sometimes provided to them. The MPK TV team did what they could to address these needs with the items donated. So we had a look at the Bethel's primary, um, pre-primary, so to see what they need. And we thought since they do not get any financial support, I'm sure the kids need some good educational toys, you know, so that they can get um, the, the, the foundation they need that starts from scratch. Help from the community at large would be appreciated as there are still more needs to be met. There's a lot that we need in this school. Even the, even the chairs, the, the, the tables, um, the stationery, because there are some of them do, that they don't, don't have the stationery. While the community has a responsibility to see to the needs of their children, Mandela Day also gives companies the opportunity to take over where the community's reach falls short. Number one, it means that companies are not selfish. They look into the communities that they are in and they are seeing the need that the community has. And as a company, as a private sector or as a business, you are willing to take a bit of your business to actually give to community. Mandela Day is a day to keep alive the legacy of a man who said that the power of education extends beyond the development of skills we need for economic success. It can contribute to nation building and reconciliation. That legacy is kept alive by people like Matrose as she directly imparts his ideals into the next generation. It is important, very, very important, and to teach the little ones to know the struggle of that Mandela and to understand that sometimes we need to pass upon the difficulties so that we can be able to reach wonderful things because now he is our stepping stone even if he is no longer living because we are benefiting now. While the school charges a fair 800 rand for school fees, it is not enough to keep the school running. In addition, the school has had a hard time trying to collect fees from parents as the community, like many South Africans, struggles to get by. 
Thus, the importance of continued outreaches like this one cannot be overstated. On this Mandela Day and the next, we, the broader community, need to roll up our sleeves and look at our communities and help where we can. For MPK News, I'm Taryn Walman in Kobecha.